friends uh, this is arun let's get started with how to solve problems in code kata using javascript this is much very specific to javascript but this can be extended for other languages in terms of python or java or whatever it is but uh, here i'm going to use javascript uh, as you guys know uh, code code kata can be written in any one of these languages okay uh, i prefer javascript to do it okay so before getting into the uh, javascript based problem solving we want to understand few basic things about javascript alone this is very specific to javascript okay uh, for example javascript can be run in two modes one is a browser mode another one is a node js mode okay don't cling up on the words okay focus on the concept when i say browser mode uh, javascript will generally in any case it will run inside a browser there is a every browser whether it is a firefox chrome or opera webkit whatever it is safari you have it so every browser has its own javascript engine okay it is bundled as part of the browser itself you don't need to worry anything about it and uh, how do you use that you add a script tag in your html page and write a javascript inside that or write it in a separate file and include it these are the standard ways of uh, using javascript this is how we used to do use javascript in front end okay so the other way is using in node js okay this is for the back end part where if you want to run javascript in the back end apart from your with uh, excluding from your browser this is how you do it so browser is a sandboxed mode where you have everything uh, it's like living with your parents you have everything around you and you do certain things and node js you are staying alone in your with your friends okay so you don't have anything but you have your freedom okay so most of the cases okay so this is how it is so typically uh, the operating system you will have it in the operating system uh, you have javascript uh, bro chrome browser in this case i'll take a chrome browser very specifically i'm not talking about any other browser which is running on top of the operating system okay so that is a sandbox environment for this javascript engine that there is a javascript engine inside chrome browser the name of the engine is called v8 okay the car engine right v8 the same thing okay powerful engine they have used it okay and uh, one of the students like you what he did is like he took the javascript browser separately and he wrote a little bit of code around it in c++ and uh, he made it possible to run javascript outside the browser okay the reason why i'm telling all the story is in code kata or any any online platforms we prefer to run mostly outside the browser okay because of certain reasons okay uh, you can run it in front end as well when you are coding it okay uh, that is also possible but specifically in code kata we don't do it okay we run it in node okay that's why you see lot of extra things around the code okay now coming back to the differences so in a browser you read input either from a text box which is your part of your html page that is one way or there is something called prompt through which you read it and then use it that is a second way okay and you output the result in document.write or console.log these are the two ways this is a two ways to read input there is two ways to read out uh, print your output okay in java node first three will not work that is a point okay so when you strip node out of a browser you don't have a text box because it is not running in a browser and you don't have a prompt which is not part of the browser which is not running there and uh, you don't have a document dot write that is also part of the browser uh, object so which is not available the only thing which is available is console dot log okay to print it so now your question would be how to read it okay that is where you have to use a separate module think module like a library or package okay which you import and use it and if you go to the code so that is what we have done it here so read line is a inbuilt module which is which we have used it you don't worry about it okay to read the data from the console when i say console the black screen is always called as a console okay uh, so read it from the standard input and store it in a array called user input array okay this is where all your data would be i'll show it 
to you. For example, if I go to the input and say Arun, okay, and run code. So another important thing is the run every time you spend a run code, it is one time compilation is gone. Okay. So see it read the input from the array, sorry, uh, thing and put it inside the array. Okay, it read it from the console, though it looks like a text box. What we do is we run in the server, we send all the data to the server. Whatever you are giving input here, your code, everything we send it to the server. That's why there is a delay. Okay, if the network is not there, it will not work. So check for your internet as well. So it reads and then it pushes the data into an array. So if you see here, there is an array. Okay, so we did it and then we print it. Okay, so whatever you give it will be part of an array. For example, Arun Prakash, Guvi, okay, Chennai. All these things, if I run it, it will be pushed as a single string into an array. Every line would be. For example, if I have a second line, 1, 2, 3, 4, some number. If I run it, my array will have two lines. The first line would be this one. See, second line would be this one. Array of 0 and array of 1. If you want to check it, array of 0, I have typed as O. Okay, instead of 0. Now it is 0. Actually, wrong place I am typing it. Okay. So, while printing, I want to see that, right? Array of 0. Let's print that alone. So, if I run it, it will get me the first data alone. See, it is printing Arun Prakash Guvi Chennai. Okay. The second line is missed. If I want to do it, I have to use the second line also. So, if I use array of 1 and then do a run code, I will get the second line. Now, the first line is gone. So, the only way to get two lines is use two console.logs. Console.log of 0 and console.log of this one. When I do it, it gives me in two separate lines. See, first line, second line. The other way is, irrespective of the lines, do a console.log of the entire array. Uh, here the name is user input. Okay, the entire array can be given for commenting double slash. Okay, or hash. Okay, when I do double slash, so in single print, it has printed in an array format, not in an individual string format. If I have it here, it will be individual string format. Okay. This is how you read the data and print the data. So I will show the code here. Okay. See. So I have user input of 0, user input of 1 and user input. Okay. If I come down, my output would be the first one is a user input of 1, Darun Prakash Guvi Chennai. The second line is 1, 2, 3, which is user input of 1. And the third one is array stuff. If you see that, it comes with the extra stuff. Whenever you see this extra thing, you are printing the array object. Remember that. You are printing the array object. So that you, the only way to strip is you have to take the individual elements. Okay. So this is the second line. Okay. This is how you read input and write it output to the in code cutter okay the same with the ide most of the common platforms work like this should work like this okay